Triangles and wedges are incredibly useful trading tools if you know how to read them. They can actually tell you where the breakout will most likely happen ahead of time. What's up, my name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. This video is the last part of the chart reading course for beginners. If you haven't watched those lessons yet, go down in the description and do that first so you understand what we're talking about now. Today we'll look at triangles and wedges. Now these are the among, among the most important trading patterns and patterns are really useful because they usually play out in a very similar way. That means that they can tell you where the price will likely move next so you can make educated decisions about where to buy and where to sell. Now there are actually tons of different patterns that are appearing on a regular basis in, in the charts such as bear flags, bull flags, head and shoulders, cup and handles and so on. Now we'll cover those more in-depth lessons in the DeFi Academy. If you want to get a head start, join the masterclass, our free masterclass where you learn how to get an edge in the market with on-chain metrics and then afterwards you can join the Academy if you want to dive even deeper. But for now we'll look at the basics so we'll get started with triangles and wedges. So as always let's start with the definition. What is a triangle according to Investopedia? A triangle is a chart pattern depicted by drawing trend lines along a converging price range. That connotes a pause in the prevailing trend. Technical analysis categorized triangles as continuation patterns. So we've discussed trend lines in an earlier video. Again, don't forget to look at those lessons before you watch this video. And what this means is that you need to draw them. I'll show you how in a minute. You draw those trend lines in the charts and they basically show a continuation of the previous pattern. So if we've been in a bullish pattern, then the idea with a triangle is that it continues in a bullish way and vice versa if it's been if it's been bearish. Now if we scroll a bit further down in this article, you can see that there are three main triangles that we mainly see or mainly use in chart reading. We have the ascending triangle, descending triangle and symmetrical triangle. Now with ascending and descending triangles, you'll see that one of the lines is straight and the other one shows the trend line. So that's very important to note. We've got one straight line and with the ascending triangle that's on the top and the trend line moves up, ascends from down there and that is the trend that shows we're in, a, we're in a bullish momentum. Now the descending triangle has the trend line going down, so the momentum is bearish, we're going down, 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 and the other line is the straight line on the bottom. Now the symmetric triangle, you've got two lines and both of them, both of them could be trend lines. So in this scenario, it's not really clear we came from down here, but it's not really clear if we're going higher or lower. And that's actually the thing with symmetrical triangles, you never really know in which direction it's going to move. Normally, it should continue the pattern or the momentum. So it has come up here. So you would expect it to break up on the upside again because it has come it has moved up and you would expect it to move up higher. But there's always a chance that it breaks on the lower side as well. Whereas with ascending triangle, in the majority of the cases, it breaks out during the straight line. So ascending and descending, it usually breaks out on the straight line. So for ascending on the top and for descending on the bottom. Now personally, I find spotting triangles pretty difficult. What I see more often are wedges. I find wedges much easier to spot and also much easier to interpret. So we'll get to that in a minute, but let's first take a look at the charts to see if we, if we can spot any triangles. So I've looked at the charts earlier and the, the one that I saw that could have been an ascending triangle is this one. So what you need to do is you need to draw that in the charts because that doesn't appear just like that. It's not an indicator, it's a pattern, so you need to draw that. In order to do that, you can hover on the top left where it says trend line, click on that until it's blue, and then just hold your mouse down, draw it, and then click it again. Okay, and then we do the same for the other side. Okay, then you can adjust it here. All right, so it doesn't always need to close, but we can theoretically drag it out until it closes. All right, there we go. So it's not perfect, and those, those patterns will never be absolutely perfect like, like in the drawings. But so you really need to spot where it could happen. And what you can see here, if we just zoom in a bit, you can see that this could more or less be the upper line of the ascending triangle, even though it's not really straight. And here only the wick has touched it. So 
I prefer actually looking at only the bodies. I prefer having the bodies on the trend lines because that's a, a confirmation that this is actually the trend, a strong confirmation, but it can also be the wick. So in that case, the wick has touched it and here again, we draw it a bit lower. So it's not perfect, but you could see that this is an ascending triangle. And then as you can see, it broke through here. So it broke through the upper level and that confirms the, the previous trend. However, for a perfect ascending triangle, you would actually expect the price to come from from lower then stay in there for a bit and then move higher again so it's that upward movement upwards movement and if we look here that wasn't the case so we moved down into the triangle and then bounced here and then moved up so it's not a perfect triangle even though it bounces out of here but you would actually expect the price to come from the lower end so let's take a look at if we see any other triangles Okay, so I found a symmetrical triangle on the daily ETH USD chart. So I draw it in here, I draw it in here, and what you can see, I prefer using the body, so it looks pretty nice like that. And you can also see now it really follows that movement, that momentum, as it's actually supposed to be. So it came down to the triangle, that, but then it's symmetrical, so you don't really know on which side it's gonna go, but the likelihood is that it's gonna move lower, because it moved from the upside down here, up and down and then it should move lower so you can see that that is the opposite of what you see here so it came down here tuck, and then it goes lower again now the pattern that I actually find much more useful and easier to spot is the wedge so let's take a look at the definition of Investopedia of what a wedge is a wedge is a price pattern marked by converging trend lines on a price chart the two trend lines are drawn to connect the perspective highs and lows of a price series over the course of 10 to 50 periods. So I never will look at how many periods there are. I just look at the pattern that I see, but most likely it's usually between 10 and 50 periods. The lines show that the highs and the lows are either rising or falling and deferring rates, giving the appearance of a wedge as the line approach a convergence. Wedge-shaped trend lines are considered useful indicators of a potential reversal in price action by technical analysts. Now if you scroll down here, you can see that there are rising wedges and, and falling wedges. And you can see that these lines start moving almost parallel and then converge at a point. But as opposed to the triangles, they're not, they don't have a straight line. So they have lines moving, both trend lines move in one direction, either rising or falling. But they can stay more or less parallel uh, or they can even close. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Now, one very nice and clear wedge that has played out was between the May and July in, a USD, in the BTC USD chart. So in that correction phase, you'll see that you can spot a very nice falling wedge. That's the first trend line. And the second trend line, again, I'm gonna leave out the, the uh, wicks. So you can see it doesn't close here, but both trend lines move downwards. And as you can see in the definition, a falling wedge means that the price move, that the price will likely break out to the upside. So you can see the price has been falling during this correction phase, and that uh, as soon as I spotted this wedge, I was expecting a price reversal. So you never really know when that's gonna break out, but what you can see is if you spot that pattern, you can prepare, you can start DCAing in and prepare for an upside movement. And you can see that has broken out very nicely here. So I spotted it a bit earlier, I don't remember where, somewhere here, and then it moved along this trend line further downwards, and then when it finally broke out, there was no stopping for it. Now if we look at the current price action, you see that it, this looks a bit different. It could still play out something like that, but at the moment, you don't really see a pattern here yet. So it could be in this stage, but we would, but we need to have a, a bit more confirmation to see if something like that plays out again. But you can see there's another one, another falling wedge here. That's a very steep one. So again, a falling wedge and it broke up to the upside. So once you know what to look for, you'll see them everywhere. I find them pretty, pretty easy to spot. Let's look for a rising wedge. Yeah, so that's, that could be seen as a rising wedge where both the trend lines move upwards and then the price breaks to the downside. I just quickly wanted to take a look at the BTCUSD 15 minute chart. I 
rarely do that because you lose the big picture if you go to the smaller time frames but just to see what's happening right now and to see if we see another pattern and I think this one looks like a rising wedge as well that's a rising wedge and it broke to the downside as well however that's not very clear and especially because we're on a very small time frame you can see that the impact is not very great yes it moves lower but then it moves higher again so I generally only draw patterns on bigger time frames so at least hourly usually daily or maybe even weekly but just for demonstration purposes this is nice to look at and to practice so if we just took take a look at the current press action I don't see a pattern here but maybe it could develop into a triangle let's just try that yeah this is actually a nice symmetrical triangle now that I'm taking a closer look at it so what does that mean the price came from higher so it should bounce in here and go lower that's the theory but with symmetrical triangles it could, could go to both sides so you don't really know once you look at that that would be a couple of days later so you can look at that I expect this to break to the downside but with symmetrical it could be both ways so let's just take a quick look at the ETH USD chart on the 50 minute as well to see if we spot any other patterns here yeah that could be another symmetrical triangle so again price so here you can't even really see okay if we zoom out you can see price comes from the price comes from higher so it should bounce in here and then break lower again let's see how that plays out once you watch this video you'll see in which direction that has played out so what I would recommend for you to learn those patterns is go in past price actions and first let's just zoom out. what you need to do is just zoom out and see where does it bounce and bounce and where does it look like it's moving in a triangle form or in a wedge form for instance if I'm looking at that here I can like I can draw with my mouse I can draw imaginary lines and then see no it doesn't really fit my babe maybe this could be a rising triangle or a rising wedge would probably be more the real term for that rising wedge that then breaks to the downside so just try to draw them and then actually also use the trend lines and draw them in this is the best way to practice and you'll find that the more past triangles and wedges you find the more you can actually adapt that and use that for current price actions as well all right so that's it for this chart reading course for beginners with this knowledge you have the basics to start trading to start learning where to buy and sell and to start predict future movements now this is only technical analysis and this only gives you part of the the picture if you actually want to get an edge and see what whales are seeing or how whales are trading and how they can predict future market movements then don't forget to subscribe to our masterclass where we show you all the tips and tricks that make here and me over fifty thousand dollars in trades in trading profit and this is only from swing trading so we don't do day trading this is swing trading and this is just acting according to those metrics that we get from the data so we'll break it down for you in very easy terms in this free masterclass. So make sure to go down in the description and subscribe to that now. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.